What's going on, swim fans? Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday. And on today's episode, I'm sharing with you guys three different beginner swim workouts. So whether you're used to going to the pool and swimming back and forth, anywhere from 100, 200, 500, 1,000 meters, or you're just getting into the sport of swimming, this video is gonna help you out a ton because we're gonna talk about what structured workouts are, how they're set up, the benefits of following a structured workout, and I'm gonna share three different workouts ranging from 300 meters all the way up to 1,000 meters. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna share four different training programs specifically designed for beginner swimmers. If you're new to the channel, welcome to my swim pro where we share the latest and greatest to help you improve your performance and health both in and out of the water. So if you're looking to swim faster and smarter than ever before, you've come to the right place. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like this video, and let me know in the comments the favorite thing that you love about swimming. If you're new to swimming, let me know what questions you've got in the comments. We'll respond to all of them. Without further ado, let's talk about structured workouts. So first of all, structured workouts are a prescribed distance and time. They have a specific goal, a focus. So if you're used to swimming in the pool back and forth, whether it's 200 meters, you're doing 50s, you're doing 25s, that's all great and it's a fantastic sport and you can use your entire body. The water is 800 times more resistive than air. But on top of that, if you can add some structure with a specific focus, whether it's on technique, building endurance, strength, or any of the other fundamentals of swimming, it's gonna help you out a ton. And finally, there's a workout template. We're gonna talk about this in just a little bit, but if you haven't already seen some of the videos I've done on how workouts are actually structured, following a format of repetitions and distance and stroke type and interval, check out the resources we have linked in the description below. It'll help you understand how structured workouts are set up a ton. So why would you wanna do a structured workout as compared to continuous swimming? Continuous swimming is a great way to build endurance and you can sort of shut your, shut your mind off and just go mindlessly swimming. And that's totally fine if you're getting started. But I strongly encourage you to consider the benefits of structured workouts. Number one, it gives you direction. So having a game plan to the pool makes it so much more likely to actually stick with the plan, get in the water and swim the required distance. Following a program is gonna make it so much easier to do that. And number two, it makes your time spent more efficiently in the water. We've all been there where we go to the gym or we go to the pool and we sort of just you know, float around for a period of time and then we look back and it's like, what do we do in the last 30 minutes? Maybe we didn't do that much. So having a structured program will make your use of time much more efficient in the water by giving you that kind of direction and it gives you something to build off of. So ideally, you're not just following one structured workout like the ones we're about to talk about, but you're gonna have a series of workouts and like a training plan and that's gonna build your progression over time and you have something to build off of. It also helps you improve faster. So because you have more structure, like anything in life, the more structure you have, the, the easier you're going to be able to improve upon that and build off of that, thus giving you a better workout. So by actually breaking up the workout into series of smaller chunks, so rather than just swimming 500 meters straight or 200 meters straight or 100 meters straight, or you do 20 lengths and you take 10 seconds rest, that's perfectly a good way to start. But by having a more systematic approach and by breaking it up in a more strategic way, you're gonna see all of these benefits through more direction and more efficient use of time, and you're gonna get a better workout from a physiological perspective. Now let's get right into these three workouts that I have. So workout number one is 300 meters. And as simple as it is, you're actually just gonna do six 50s free cell. So this can be done in a 50 meter pool or a 25 meter pool or any pool distance really. So for the scope of these examples, we're gonna assume you're in a 25 meter distance pool. That's pretty standard regulation length. And a 50 refers to the distance. So you're going two times. So if it's a 25 meter pool and we're asking to do 50 meters of swimming, that means you're gonna to go to one end of the pool and you're gonna come back. And then you're gonna take a break anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds. If you can't do a 50 meter continuous swim, you can break it up. Instead of going 650s, you can go 625 distance, and each 25, you're gonna take 30 or 60 seconds rest. And if you're a more advanced swimmer, you can do the same concept as hundreds or 200s or 400s, and you can really multiply that out. And you'll see as we progress through these different workouts, that's how we're gonna actually increase the distance. So when we do these 650s, we're not just gonna swim, we're actually going to have a specific focus on every single 50. So the first 50 and the first two lengths or one length, whatever distance you're gonna end up doing, we're gonna focus on swimming smooth. We're gonna think about placing our hand in the water and we're not gonna make a lot of splash and we're just gonna swim smooth. We're not going fast, 
We don't really worry about the time, that doesn't really matter. We're just gonna swim smooth. Then on number two, the second 50, we're gonna focus on our fingertip hand entry. So the way your fingertips actually slide into the water. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to develop the stroke. We want a very efficient stroke. So when we talk about the focus, the focus of this first workout, which is only a few hundred meters, is focusing on technique, efficiency, and comfort in the water. Because when you're just getting started, being comfortable in the water is the most important thing. So the third 50, we're gonna focus on swimming taller. So whether you stand at you know 1.8 meters tall, 1.5 meters, you're two meters tall, doesn't really matter. When you're in the water and you're in this zero gravity plane, you can always be taller. And the way you do that, after you slide your fingertips in the water, you're actually going to reach and extend. You're gonna rotate your body and you're gonna reach as far as you can. Just reach a few more centimeters, a few more inches on every single stroke. So that's what you're focusing on in the third 50. And when you get to the fourth 50, you're gonna put that to work with your hips. You're gonna focus on rotation. So the way that you swim taller is by actually rotating your entire body. Keep your head looking down. You're gonna rotate your entire body. And as you rotate your body, you're gonna swim taller. So that's what you're focusing on number four, rotating your body, increasing your distance per stroke. Now the fifth 50, we're gonna focus on head position. I know I referenced that just a couple seconds ago. So as we're rotating our body, Focus on keeping your head down. If you're not comfortable breathing on your side, that's all right. We have another video linked in the description below on how to breathe bilaterally or on your side. So don't worry about breathing necessarily. You know, if you need to lift your head up, that's totally fine. But when you're not breathing, focus on placing your head down, eyes on the bottom of the pool, so that way your body is flat and your hips are up. And then finally, on the 650, this is my favorite. It's called silent swimming. So you're gonna use all of your senses to try and reduce the noise, so that's that's sound. You're gonna really feel the connection with the water, and this really ties back to the first 50 of smooth swimming. And you're gonna really apply all of your senses, especially your hearing, and you're gonna listen to the sound your hand makes when you hit the water. As you exhale, the feeling, the feel of the water with your hand as your fingertips slide in at a nice 45 degree angle, right in front of your shoulder, about 12 to 18 inches, and you're gonna really put it all together. So in this first workout, when you're getting into the pool, whether you're, it's the first time you swim in 10 years or the first time you swim seriously as a workout in this structured fashion, we're really focusing on six different things. Take about 30 to 60 seconds rest. Really in this scenario, the rest doesn't even matter that much. To be honest, you wanna make sure that you're well enough rested so that way you can focus on the next 50 and whatever focus skill that you're working on, you have the right, physiological ability to do that. So if you only take five seconds rest and you're not in great shape, you're gonna feel like you're gonna collapse after two or three of these. So it's okay to take 30 to 60 seconds rest or more, and it's okay to modify the distance. So if you're doing 650s, that'll be 300 meters. If you wanna do 625s, that'll be 150 meters. Maybe you have a 50 meter pool and you don't really have an option, uh, and, and so you can do that. You can also do this with fins. So you can wear fins to assist you, that's totally fine. And that wraps up the first version of this workout. That's 300 meters. So once you've completed that, now we can move to the next version of it. This is 600 meters, or you wanna start out here at workout number two. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually add a little bit more structure to the workout itself. Instead of doing one set of 650s, I'm gonna add in a warm up, a preset, then we're gonna do the 650s, and then a cool down. So the warm up is gonna be 100 meters of front crawl. So that's freestyle, it can be any stroke you'd like but do freestyle, you know, front crawl, 100 meters. Again, if you can't swim 100 meters continuously, no problem at all. Just swim a 25 at a time, 50 at a time, take a break as you needed, complete 100 meters to get your body warmed up. Think about swimming smooth. Then our preset, we're gonna go 425, so 25 would be one length, and we're gonna do that four times of just kicking. So this can be in streamline, it can be with a kickboard, and take about 20 seconds rest between each of those 25s. Now that we've completed the preset, we're ready for the main set. The main set is just like our first version of the workout. We're gonna do 650s with a focus on each individual 50, taking about 30 seconds of rest. Again, you can easily modify this workout and go 625s. You can go 6100s. If you go 6100s, it's simply gonna add 300 meters to the workout distance. And then finally, we're gonna have a cool down set where we go 100 perfect, Freestyle. If you haven't already checked out the Whiteboard Wednesday, I did how to swim perfect freestyle technique. Check it out, linked in the description below. It's one of our most popular videos online. 
Now this workout number two is a total of 600 meters. Again, it can be modified, it can be a little bit less, it can be a little bit more. If you're ready to take it to the next level, we're gonna look at workout number three. This is 1,000 meters, so we're hitting four figures, and this kilometer workout is broken out very similarly to workout number two. Workout number two, we had a warm up, preset, main set, and cool down. And in workout number three, we're gonna follow a similar pattern. So we're gonna have a warm up, but instead of a 100 distance, we're gonna go four by 50 meters freestyle. So we're gonna do a 50, take a break. 50, take a break. And we're gonna add 20 seconds rest between each of those 50s. Now our preset is gonna be four 50s stroke at 30 seconds rest. So when we're doing these 450 stroke at 30 seconds rest, basically stroke means anything that's not freestyle. So it could be butterfly, it could be backstroke, breaststroke, freestyle. And again, you don't have to do the full distance. You can do a 25 or that. And actually for the fun of this live video, we're actually gonna add a set, because I forgot one. We're gonna do 450s kick and we're gonna do that on 30 seconds rest as well. And that's gonna complete our main set. Then we're gonna go into our kick set, I'm sorry, our main set, and that's 650s freestyle where we're focusing, again, on these six elements. So each 50 has a different element to focus on. After the main set, we're gonna do a 100 perfect freestyle, and this workout number three is 1,000 meters. Let's go ahead and add it up to make sure our math is on point. So we're gonna go 200, 200, 200, that's six, nine, 1,000, perfect. So this is a one kilometer workout broken up into a warm up, preset, main set, and then cool down set. You can do these workouts sequentially as you build up, or depending on where you're at, you can actually jump to workout number two or workout number three. If you're a more advanced swimmer and you think this is all too easy, you can still apply the concepts of following these different patterns of focus because you're essentially developing the stroke. So it doesn't matter how fast of a swimmer you are or how much distance you're used to, following this type of a progression, whether it's in a 300 meter workout, 600 meter workout, 1000 meter workout, or 10,000 meter workout can definitely be valuable for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed these three workouts. And if you like, make sure you share it with other beginner swimmers or with another swimmer you think would find it valuable. Now we're not done yet because I did promise four different training programs that sort of put this all together and allow you to build that progression from one workout to the next. It's one thing to have a workout and it's another thing to have a series of workouts that builds towards a specific goal. So the four workouts or training programs that I have on the whiteboard are actually all in the My Swim Pro app. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick preview, a taste, of what they are if you're looking at choosing between one of them. So again, the MySwim Pro app is linked in the description below, available on iOS and Android. You can download it for free and you can check out these different training programs. So number one is called the Couch to 1K. And as the name implies, the, the goal of this plan is to start essentially off of your couch. So the first workout's about 250 meters, broken up in a similar way as workout number one. And then you're gonna build up to doing a one kilometer workout. Actually, I believe it's a one kilometer continuously. The workout's maybe 1200 meters. And you're gonna do that over six weeks, three workouts per week. The workouts are all about 30 minutes or less. And you start out again at that 250 meter distance. So pretty attainable for most swimmers. The second training program is called Get Fit. I love this training program. It's one of the most popular in the My Swim Pro app. And this is a six week training program that has three workouts per week. And you're building from about 400 meters on day number one. And over those three workouts per week, over the six weeks, you're gonna build up to doing a one mile continuous swim. And to tell you guys, seeing the success stories of people who have done this training program, it's absolutely amazing. People who would never have thought that they could swim one mile continuously in any duration of time are able to do it in pretty much a month and a half. Another training program that's really popular is called the Getting Started for Beginners. And as the name implies, it's definitely designed for a beginner, starting at about 250 meters. Now this training program ramps up a little bit faster. It's only two weeks, three workouts per week. So over the course of a six workout progression, sort of similar to what you saw here, workout one, two, and three, over those six workouts, you're gonna build up to one kilometers of training. And we have a lot of other training programs you can jump off of. And now the fourth one that fits into this pattern of beginner uh, workouts and training programs is the beginner weight loss training program. This is an eight week program, so a little bit longer. If you're trying to lose weight, you, you're not gonna do it in one week. So an eight week training program, two workouts per week, and you start at about 300 meters and you build up to that kilometer. So it's a more gradual approach, you're working on technique, and of course you're gonna have a very similar progression that you saw 
right here. But because only two workouts per week, you can add this to maybe another training program uh, out of the water, like the MySwim Pro dryland training programs, which I highly recommend. Now, finally, I wanna conclude with the fact that you might be thinking to yourself, why would I wanna follow a structured training program? I just wanna get in the pool and I wanna swim back and forth for 20 minutes. Let me shut my brain off for 10 minutes or five minutes, whatever. And again, I wanna reemphasize the benefits of having this structured workouts will definitely increase your performance and health because it gives you direction. It's a more efficient use of your time. And by engaging the musculature in a more effective and impactful way, by giving yourself more rest and allowing you to focus on your technique, that is where all the value is. So by focusing on your technique, breaking up the workouts into shorter segments, whether it's 25s, 50s, or 100s, as opposed to continuous swimming, will definitely deliver the most bang for your buck. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments why you love swimming and any questions you might have, send this video to any beginner swimmers out there and make sure you check out the training plans in the MySwim Pro app for both in the water training and out of the water training. This was Whiteboard Wednesday. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Make sure you follow us on social media and we'll see you guys next time. Happy swimming.